Hi, this is Joy with the first Simple Card Monday of 2010. I'm really excited about it. Um, I decided to make this ice cream cone card. Um, probably on a lot of people's mind these, you know, these last few days is New Year's resolutions and one of mine is to not eat as much ice cream. But I can't stop thinking about ice cream, so I thought I'd make this cute card instead of eating some. Maybe you guys can relate. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and make this. There's some real tricks to making this that I want to explain about the shadow feature. So be sure to watch. Um, I'll be going over that in just a second, but it's um, it's an interesting deal. Um, we're using the Sweet Treats cartridge today, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, to get started making our card, I went to the Sweet Treats um, booklet, and I picked out this ice cream cone and I thought I'll make a cute card out of this ice cream cone. It's ice cream cone ice cream 2 and I noticed that there was a card feature here and so I went ahead and cut that at five and a half and miraculously the final dimensions of that card will be five and a half by four which means it will fit into a standard envelope. Yay! You know sometimes it doesn't happen so very happy about that. Well I went ahead and started experimenting. Whenever I have a brand new cut like this and I'm not sure how things are gonna work out, I use some test paper, um, the Georgia Pacific white paper from Walmart is my favorite. And I also have some black paper to test things on. Here's what I found out that you need to know. The shadow function is much larger, it gives a much larger shadow. So for instance, I cut this white shape at four and a quarter. This black shape is the corresponding shadow to that. So it's a pretty thick shadow around it. We usually um, don't shadow things quite that thickly. The other thing you'll have to keep in mind is because the shadow is so much larger, you may think something will fit on your card when it's this size, but if you shadow it, suddenly that extra, gosh, you know, almost inch, it's gonna be a problem. So what I did is I experimented and I found that I could make a smaller shadow. So take a look at this guy. Let's hold this one away. And how I did this was on this card feature, which I'll show you again. I don't know if you can see this real clearly. There's an ice cream cone. Now when he cuts out, he's really a different size. So what I found is to get a shadow that I liked to go around this, I had to cut him, which is going to be shift ice cream too with the card feature on. I cut him at five inches. Uh-huh. And he shadows this like this. Just a tip you're going to need to know. Okay, so this is a little bit of a tricky cartridge. I suggest uh, cutting things out with scrap paper to really find out how you want it to go. Again, that's sweet treats. So let's get started assembling our card. Okay, and that's our simple card for today. This is Joy. Head over to www.cricketchristmas, 
www.blogspot.com for a chance to win a free Sweet Treats cartridge this week from us. Um, we're so glad you tuned in. Check out our blog. We're changing up our look a little bit, and we're having a little bit of a different schedule. A few more cards involved. So I hope you guys like it, and have a wonderful day. Happy New Year!